Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I had shown you how to design this web page over here using Daisy UI. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your Blogger website. So we're going to basically add the Daisy UI and the Tailwind CSS, which is used by Daisy UI to our Blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, so here I have logged into my Blogger dashboard and uh, the theme that I'm using is called Contempolite which comes by default with Blogger and this is how the theme looks. So let's go over here and add this design to a page. So here let's go to pages and let's create a new page and uh, let's type test for the title. You can add your title over here and the first thing you need to do is change this into the HTML view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. By default it will be in the compose view. Now here we need to add the code. So we can add HTML, CSS and JavaScript code over here. So I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So this is the source code of our design. Now this design has a nav bar and uh, we are not going to add this to our page because uh, this is basically a global component. So let's just add this theme switcher from here and we'll just add this image carousel and this stats division. So let's go back to our page and uh, let's go to our source code and let's copy everything inside this division right here. And uh, let's paste it over here. Now here you can go ahead and change these details as your needs. So here we have all these values. You can change these to your needs and you can also add your images over here. So you can just click on this button called insert image and upload your image from your computer and then just add the link over here. So let's scroll up over here and uh, let's remove the nav bar. So I just keep this link. So I just delete all of this. And uh, let's fold this label and uh, let's delete these two divisions from here. All right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add the link of Daisy UI and Tailwind CSS. So here in the head of our HTML file, here we can see we have these two links. So we have this link and this uh, script tag. So let's copy these two. This is for Daisy UI and this is for Tailwind CSS. So let's copy these and paste it over here. And now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. And now let's open this page. And this is how the page looks. Now we have some problems in the design. That's because uh, we have this uh, aside over here. And uh, since we are using Tailwind CSS, Tailwind CSS already has a class called container. And in our theme also we have some class called container. So if you go over here to sidebar, here we can see that we have this class called container. Now since Tailwind also has this class of container, it is being added to the container of our theme. So what we need to do is we need to disable container from the Tailwind CSS config. So let's go back to our page. And here after this script tag, let's go ahead and add some config for Tailwind CSS. So I'll just type script. And let's close the script tag over here. And here you have to type tailwind.config equals and we need to create an object and here we need to type core plugins and uh, here we need to type container false. Now this code will disable container entirely from Tailwind CSS so let's go ahead and click on update. Let's go back to our page and reload and now we can see that it looks all right and uh, we don't have the full width for the container. Now the next thing we will do is we will add some margin for this uh, theme switcher so let's go back over here. And here for the label, let's add a div around this label. So I just type div and let's add some Tailwind CSS classes over here. Now in Tailwind CSS, if you want to add a margin top and bottom, you can just type my hyphen and the value. And let's set the value to eight. So let's click on update. Let's go back to our page and reload. And now we can see that we have this margin. Now the next thing we need to do is by default, we need to have the light theme and when we click on this uh, theme switcher button we need to change the theme to dark so if you go back to our source code here we can see that in the html we had set the data theme to winter so let's do that let's go back to our uh, theme code so here you have to click on theme and click on this arrow and click on edit html and here in the html we need to add data hyphen theme and we need to set it to winter and let's go ahead and click on save Let's go back to our page and reload. And now we can see that we have this uh, light theme by default. And if I click on this uh, theme switcher, 
And now we can see we have this dark theme. So that's basically how you can add Daisy UI components to your Blogger website. Now Daisy UI is being used in websites to make designing faster. So in the previous video, I had shown you how to design this web page really quickly using Daisy UI and Tailwind CSS. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.